new updated 2018 version of the Vilros Gaming Kit, making it easier and easier for you to set up a Raspberry Pi two player, play all your favorite retro games, and it's becoming easier and easier with this updated kit. So even a brand new newbie could do this. So let's go ahead and check out the difference in components and actually show you how easy it is to actually set this thing up. So to get started, this gaming kit still gets this cool little SNES dual controller. You get two player mode. You get the micro SD to SD adapter with a Samsung Evo Plus, which is a nice SD card. You still get the HDMI and you're still gonna get the NES themed case. And before, here's my rundown of why I thought this was a great kit. And now we can get it with a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, an additional thumb drive, as well as a brand new updated power supply. Here's what's added to the kit now. Here are the three new components you're gonna get with the 2018 updated edition. You get the most revised power supply with a working switch and three feet of cable. It's 2.5 amp, five volts. It's pretty standard, nice stuff. What's really cool though is the brand new Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. So this is gonna have the faster ethernet, the 5G, the better Bluetooth, and the faster processor. Thus making gaming even better, better performance, and you're on the latest and greatest. Really cool. In addition, something that they recently added to the lineup, which is really cool, is they give you an eight gigabyte uh, thumb drive here. And this thumb drive already has the file system or folder system for the RetroPie image. All you would need to do is put this in your computer, drop the ROMs from the computer onto here, and then plug this into your Pi while the Pi is on, and it'll automatically transfer those games from here onto your micro SD card. That simple. To show you how easy this is, on the right side of my screen here, I have my USB 8 gigabyte that I just received from Vilros. As you can see, I have 7.58 gigabytes remaining. And on the left side here, I have some ROMs that I have acquired. If you're looking for ROMs or all over the internet, I recommend just using Google. Uh, you can download individual games or you can download entire packs. Um, let's just say Nintendo, a lot of people like Nintendo. So NES, let's say you downloaded Super Mario Brothers 3. So here you go, I have Super Mario Brothers 3 USA.zip. All I would do is go to my here, go to RetroPie, ROMs, find the same NES folder here. And all you gotta do is drag as many NES games as you want. So let's say I want that, I wanted Superman, I wanted Swamp Thing, and I wanted the all four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I transferred it onto my thumb drive, my USB drive. So now all I would have to do at this point is remove the thumb drive from my computer, boot up my Raspberry Pi with an image of RetroPie installed on it, and again, you can get RetroPie very easily. And with this gaming kit, I believe they come pre-installed. So you're all ready to go. You just boot up your Pi, insert in your thumb drive, and those games will get transferred over. Once they're transferred, all you gotta do is, is restart your Pi. If you're ever wondering about when are my transfers done, the thumb drive on this kit has a red LED light indicator. And when the light is solid, it means it's done transferring all these games. If the light is blinking, if it's blinking <laughs> like a moving light like this, then it's still transferring over those ROMs. Um, and the, the transfer time all can, is dependent on how many ROMs you're doing. If it's like this many ROMs, it should take less than 30 seconds. If you literally have all these ROMs, it could take a few minutes. So here it is, the updated kit. As you see, you now get the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. You also get that eight gigabyte um, thumb drive, and then you still get the same cool case. You still get a really great 32 Evo Plus Samsung, which is a great card. You still get the micro SD to USB adapter, two generic uh, SNES controllers, which work fine, they're totally good. You get the HDMI cable, and then the quick start guide, the case, and then two heat sinks. So overall, I mean, it's everything you would need to get started. The only other thing you would need is a computer or a laptop, and they've made it super, 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 super easy for you. So really cool that they're doing that. There are no ROMs or BIOS included, but that's really to get really easy to get online. Here is the kit I reviewed last time, and as you see, those additions to this kit are you get the upgraded Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, you get the switch, which is now up, the, the power cable, which is now updated with a inline switch, and then you get that thumb drive and the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. So same case, same HDMI, same controllers, same 
uh, S micro SD and adapter, but now you're getting the eight gigabyte ready to go thumb drive and the upgraded power supply as well. So really cool, and for only a $10 difference, that's great, especially considering both Raspberry Pis are supposed to be $35, but um, people are charging more for the 3B+. Plus. Now, Vilros sells a ton of other kits as well, so if you want a clear case, you want just the Pi, uh, as I mentioned, they're often the cheaper option out there. So I'll put links in the description if you're interested, but they got a ton of different setups, including, let's say you don't want a game, but you want to tinker, they have the ultimate kit, which gives you, you know, LED lights and transistors and, um, you know, all sorts of cables to do all sorts of projects, including sensors. So there you have it, another great kit from Vilros, cheap, inexpensive, everything you need, making it easier and easier for gamers. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.